Hi everyone, Odaina Eid here. Today we'll be discussing the topic of slander from the perspective of the Bible. Slander is defined as making false or a damaging statement about someone. In the Bible, we find several references to slander and it is seen as a sin that can have serious consequences. One such reference is found in Proverbs 10.18 which states, whoever conceals hatred with lying lips and spreads slander is a fool. This verse tells us that slander is not only a sin, but it is also foolish. When we spread false information about someone, we not only harm them, but we also harm ourselves by damaging our credibility and integrity. So, what can we do to overcome the temptation to slander others? Here are four steps. 1. Speak the truth. When we feel tempted to spread false information about someone, we must ask ourselves if what we are about to say is true. If it is not, we should refrain from saying it. 2. Show grace and love. When we encounter people who have wronged us, it is easy to respond with anger and slander. However, as Christians, we are called to love and forgive others, even when they have hurt us. 3. Focus on your own faults. We must remember that we are not perfect. We all have faults and we all have made mistakes. When we focus on our own shortcomings, we are less likely to criticize others and more likely to show them grace and love. And lastly, four, solve the problem. Many times, slander comes from a place of unresolved conflict. Instead of speaking directly with the person we feel has wronged us, we publicly choose to discuss the problem instead of finding a solution. I encourage you to speak with the person who you have a conflict with and resolve that conflict. In resolving the conflict, we can avoid the trap of slander. So in conclusion, slander is a sin that can have serious consequences. As Christians, we must strive to speak the truth, show grace and love, focus on our own faults and seek to resolve conflict with one another. By doing so, we can overcome the temptation to slander others and live a life that is pleasing to God. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for listening. See you next time.